Time for seven first alert weather. Well, if you knew someone that headed out on a plane, say to Chicago, they're wet today and it's also wet up in Minneapolis. There's a mixture of some rain or snow just to the north of that and some of the Dakotas. But look at this pretty good rain shower as you move down over here to Washington, D.C. Some thunderstorms in the southeast around Georgia. Uh, and then when you see throughout most of the south, though, it was great and the Midwest was cold. OK, Northwest, not so cold, but it's changing a little bit with a storm system that is coming in from the west. More on that in just a second. But as you look at the high temperatures today, 39 in Boise. So all across the country, all this area in blue, kind of like us, just on the chilly side. But even as you look at Minneapolis, it's 54 degrees. That's going to change quickly tomorrow as the temperatures drop off. The whole east coast is going to be dropping off. But today, yeah, temperatures up around 60 degrees, and that's as warm as many of the highs that you see throughout most of the south. So enough about the country going to the northwest. Heading to Seattle, they've got some rain showers moving in. Same thing for Portland. Temperatures are basically in the 40s, a little milder there. And then as you get to the interior to Idaho, you can see the 31 degrees for the high in Twin Falls. Uh, Idaho Falls 22. It was 39 degrees for Boise. Now all this is going to change. It's actually going to start warming up just a bit. If you look right now outside, we've got a cold night ahead because it's clear skies from Boise all the way to Twin Falls. If you move out over the northwest, you see the showers that are starting to come in. Now they're pretty well developed up around Seattle, but as it moves to the northeast, we're going to be seeing warmer air move in with that. It's going to sweep in for tomorrow. We're not going to notice it as much tomorrow as we get into Wednesday. And then Wednesday, there's a chance of some rain showers. But the first part is we get hit with this storm system here. It's going to cause some off and on snow showers, but it looks very light. But nonetheless, it could hit as early as 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, depending, and not to bring this up, but depending on the morning commute tomorrow and how early you're going to be out, you may run into a few snow showers. And if it has any kind of an effect on the road, we'll have to watch that closely. And of course, Jim Duthie, once again, will be there very early in the morning to give you the very latest on this storm. So this moisture is going to be pushing in. A lot of it's to our north. We still have more moisture and all this troughiness that's way out in the Pacific. So I think we're going to be seeing some showers off and on. But at this point, it doesn't look like it's a lot. If you look at the future cast, this is best explained here. Now here's Monday evening. So as we continue into uh, Tuesday, you can see here's the snow starting to line up. This is tomorrow morning, you know, anywhere from about 2 o'clock in the morning to about 5 o'clock. As it comes through, it doesn't look like there's much for Boise. It kind of breaks up. But then once again, there's another batch that moves through. This is about 830 tomorrow morning, so you could be seeing some light snow showers. It's kind of tough to say if the roads are going to be rough or not, but just kind of keep it in mind as those moves through. Here's another one at 1130 in the morning. So anywhere from about 5 to about 1130 in the morning, uh, we could be seeing some off and on snow showers. And at this time, it looks like it's pretty light. After that, it pretty much lets up. As we get into Wednesday, we have some overcast there. Now here's Thursday. You can see Wednesday night, there's a light shower. That's just the beginning. We start to see a few more showers there as you look ahead to Boise. So the best chance of rain showers is actually Thursday morning. It's not snow by then because those temperatures start to warm up. If you look at this, you see how they come up into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday into the 40s. They maintain that all the way to next Tuesday. Now, if you look at the seven-day forecast, there's the snow we talked about, but it's very light. It's off and on. Then there's the rain showers possible for Thursday. For the most part, we see things clearing up just a bit, which will provide us with some sunshine kind of in and out, which will continue through Saturday, Sunday, as uh, well as next week as we get to prepare for the year 2024. And temperatures by that time will be a little warmer than what it was today, up around 40 degrees. Well, that's your forecast. We're going to come back in just a moment.